You might be familiar with the pink triangle as a symbol of pride, but it wasn't always so. Much like the red triangle in the concentration camp uniform seen behind me, once worn by political prisoners, gay men would have to wear an upside down pink triangle in an effort to identify and dehumanize them. Only in the 1970s did the pink triangle shift and become something empowering. Homosexuality was made illegal in Germany in 1871, but it was only in 1933 when the Nazi party took power that it was enforced. This was part of the Nazis' attempt at purifying Germany, getting rid of what they deemed as degenerates. Even after the war, the illegality of homosexuality was upheld by East and West Germany, only to be repealed in 1994. As a result, many gay men imprisoned by the Nazis remained incarcerated decades after World War II. In 1973, post-war Germany's first gay rights organization reclaimed the pink triangle as a symbol of liberation. And in 1986, New York City activists reclaimed it one more time for the AIDS advocacy movement with the words silence equals death. In the 1990s, the triangle was reclaimed further as a symbol to identify safe spaces for queer people. Because of the work of gay rights activists, a symbol that was once used to dehumanize has brought people together in community and solidarity. Join me in the Museum of Jewish Heritage this Pride Month in reclaiming the symbol of the pink triangle and remembering its duality in queer history. Where it was once a symbol of harm, it becomes a symbol of pride and community.